Between 2015 and 2020, Nigeria's debt profile has risen from 11.2 trillion naira to almost 33 trillion naira. This has raised concerns on the government's continued quest to borrow money, both within and outside the country. Experts have advised the government to slow down on borrowing. The issue of debt management strategy is neither here nor there. Because at some point in time, we have a part of this strategy that allows us to keep borrowing in foreign currency. But we are oblivious of the fact that our Naira was fast losing value. The government is simply, uh, their options are quite few. They may need to keep borrowing for some time, but the important thing is that whatever we borrow should be properly invested in regenerative, regenerative projects. We can't continue borrowing to pay salaries. Looking at the quantum of the borrowing, I, I can't actually see the, the need for, for anybody to be scared. There is no challenge on the debt ceiling. We are safe. But obviously, there's a second side of that coin, which is your ability to repay the loan. And that's where we have the challenge. But the ratio of Nigeria's debt compared to the GDP, that is the total monetary value of goods and services produced, is above 20%. Some African countries like Angola and Zambia carry debt burdens of over 120% compared to their GDP. Hence, the Nigerian government says its debt profile is nothing to worry about. The government, however, says it needs to make more money to clear the debt. We will also be growing revenues to reduce the need for borrowing. Nigeria's debt to GDP ratio is 20%. It's one of the lowest in sub-Saharan Africa. Where we do have a challenge is debt service to revenue. That is because the interest cost is quite high. Will you continue to borrow or you focus on aggressive growth of revenues? So revenues can't be missing from the equation. Experts say borrowing becomes important for countries with low revenue to balance development and maintain debts. But the International Monetary Fund recommends that African countries keep their debts below 60% of GDP and ensure monies are borrowed responsibly. Chinamarim Joseph, Arise News.